Hello everyone, this is Lucas with the COVID-19 alternate transmission theory that everyone may have overlooked and that COVID-19 may be a problem or part of a bigger problem that we're all overlooking right now even during this pandemic lockdown. So um, during the pandemic, um, believe it or not, I, I got vaccinated and I found myself a job and um, I've been traveling around quite a bit, going to all different kinds of places, and I got to see all kinds of different situations. And you know, uh, we go into places and do a lot of repairs in places, some places where, you know, there's no people anymore or anything like that, and uh, some places you just run away from. But um, I can tell you that prior to COVID-19, I was a building operator, so I got to see a lot of this already. And I got to talk to a lot of professionals, like a lot of guys from Orkin and all this kind of stuff. And anyone who lives in Edmonton will tell you that, or in a city for that matter, I've talked to so many people from so many different places, will tell you that we have infestations that are ongoing and they just don't seem to stop. And it's kind of funny that we live in 2021 and we're all running around wearing masks when we have things like cockroaches. And cockroaches spread all kinds of different diseases from gastrointestinal to, you know, uh, you know, really nasty diseases. And it's usually due to contact with filth. Uh, cockroaches love filth. They eat it, right? So um, another issue that we have here in, uh, all over the world in Alberta is these things called Ford flies and Ford day. And... In their family, uh, one of the, is known as the corpse fly, it actually eats human flesh. They can find them eating people when you die, but small flies are four day, they're a scuttle fly. They will scurry across something before they take off. And they look almost like a fruit fly, but the only difference is they have a little hump on their back, whereas fruit flies don't. And scuttle flies carry all kinds of diseases, they, anything from tuberculosis, or they're basically a flying cockroach, so anything a cockroach can transfer, scuttleflies can. Now, the funny thing about these things is if you look at human to human transfer in a scuttlefly, if it's living in somebody's clothes, they're so small, they're almost imperceptible to see transferring from a human to human into clothes. Now, the only way that a scuttlefly is going to do this is if they sense a need to transfer or they smell the filth, um, and this may uh, constitute what's in your mouth. So the human mouth is one of the most disgusting things on the planet and these are actually attracted to it in some cases. So wearing a mask would make sense that you wouldn't get such a viral load transmission due to scuttle flies which would normally fly into your mouth and go unnoticed. Um, these are things that you know it just happens to people all the time right? prior to COVID-19. Now, these were actually a problem in some buildings and stuff like that where you get cracked sewer lines. And if you find a lot of these in lights and all this kind of stuff, it is actually a sign that there is a sewage problem in the building or whatever. And uh, just due to the flat nature of uh, you know, the prairies and all this kind of stuff. There tends to be sometimes uh, sewer problems that need to be fixed in Alberta all the time due to heaving and all this kind of stuff. It's just a commonplace thing. So to have sewage breaks and then have these flies appear isn't uncommon, but there are treatments available for these kind of things if it is out of control. And if you have them in your house, you may be mistaking, you know, uh, uh, fruit flies for these. Now, you're probably wondering, well, what kind of protection do I have against these? Now, cockroaches are a little bit harder to get because you actually have to receive something that has the cockroaches in it or they have to climb on you somehow. So you need to come into contact with things. So if you're really careful and you're standing everywhere and you're using the proper antiseptics and deterrents and all this kind of stuff, cockroaches won't go near you so much as these. Whereas these can just fly from person to person so long as the clothing that they're flying from is safe for them to do so. And pretty much anything that you wear that is safe for you is safe for them. So another thing I do for as a deterrent for these kinds of things is I use Dettol antiseptic in my laundry. I use a cat full of this. And what this does is it, number one, it's antiseptic. So it kills my laundry and the washing machine I had it in. So that if anybody else, they say they had cockroaches or something nasty, I'm making the water extremely not nice to live in. And they'll vacate the premises, right? Or, and if that doesn't get them with the heat in the dryer, the smell is, you know, it's wanting, but 
it's not terrible and you know your clothes are killed at the end of it and things like four day they don't go near it they don't like the smell of it right it's too clean too antiseptic right um wearing a mask it's hard for one of these to sneak by your sense of touch if anything touches your face the natural human instinct is to you know scratch you know people scratch their nose in their face all the time that's why they tell people try not to scratch your nose or your face when you're wearing a mask um you may be scratching you know one of these in your mask and if it gets in your mask it's going to itch you and it's you're going to squash it right and they're not very big they're very small um when they first hatch they're very very tiny right they can get into your uh, mask and they will go for your mouth because they like filth right and that's how they spread disease as well they go from filth to filth to filth to filth so they could be going from you know excrement to your mouth to somebody else's mouth or something like that and just be passed along a bus or whatever else another thing i use is raid mac flying insect killer i've been spraying myself down with this stuff while i've been getting on public transit and i do ride transit here just to get around i got no choice but, you know, I follow the proper rules, wear masks, you know, use sanitizer. But I also use this in my clothes so that I'm not bringing anything with me anywhere I go. Or that if any one of these, and I've seen it, actually, these bugs avoid me on the bus. I'm not even kidding. But I've seen large groups of population on the bus. And you can actually see these things just flying around, you know, ever so slightly from person to person on the bus. But they'll keep it, stay away from me because of the Raid Max and the Dead All that's in my clothes. That may sound a little bit crazy, but so far I haven't gotten sick. And um, yeah, um, I got my vaccinations now, so I'm not so, you know, worried. But I'm more worried about parasites now, I think I was, than before COVID started. And it just, it boggles my mind that we know so much about these things. That we know so much about, you know, cockroaches. And that we know so much about, you know bed bugs that's another one here bed bugs is another one bed bugs cockroaches you know bed bugs we still have lice we still have and all these things they could be eradicated and these could all be potential carriers of COVID-19 if we got rid of all of these parasites straight up we probably have less transmission i think all around there should be no excuse why in 2021 we still have this kind of thing going on it makes no sense when we know all this information and it's all at our fingertips and why aren't our governments doing something about this why are the governments only carrying now that COVID 19 is out of control when we've already had plagues out of control before strange huh every other plague and everything like that was always you know transmitted by something like that in my mind i believe you know it's probably mostly the four day um and the cockroaches but mostly the four day yeah these ones here scare me the most because of the ease of transmission from person to person I saw them on the bus. I find them in lights. I've had them stick to my fly paper. I found them on window cells. They're everywhere. And they carry diseases. Um, if you get one of these on your mouth, you could probably give yourself a pretty good chance of getting COVID. If you like these videos, give us a thumbs up and subscribe.